All right, we got the brakes done. Now we're gonna go for a little test drive. Make sure they don't lock up, but they better not lock up. In other words, you might end up in the ditch again. Uh, today I'm working on the charge. In a previous video, if you watched it, you've seen that my front right wheel locked up. And in that video, I said that we came to the conclusion that the brake hose was messed up, and that was the problem. Here's the old one. I believe what happened is it collapsed because of the clamp that holds the hose up here on the A-arm. Squeezed the hose down, made it collapse, which that's what it looks like happened. We've had that happen quite a few times on brake hoses. They have these clamps on them. Now they're clamped around the hose. It's bolted onto the A arm. Well, that's fine when it's new, but after it gets old and rust gets in there, it builds up in there, it starts slowly squeezing the hose. It starts blocking the flow of fluid to the caliper. And I drove it in here. After it sat a while, it released. But I did have to press the brakes to come in here. And it was pretty stiff. Now you can see it turns like nothing. I couldn't turn it by hand like this. You could with a bar or something. But I loosened the bolt back in there for the hose. And as soon as I did that, it released. And it did not lose any brake fluid out of the hose. And it should run fluid out of the hose when you unhook it, but it didn't. So, that would be the culprit. That metal bracket clamped around that hose for years and years. I'm assuming they're the original hoses to the pickup. And it squeezed her down. But you can see that squeezed down pretty good. We got a new one on it now. Worst part is I gotta use this old bracket because for some reason the clamp that was on it was wrong. Or at least it angled it in an odd position that I did not like so I'm putting the original one back on. And I'm not just doing this side although the other side does turn freely I'm putting them both on. This side turns freely. So when I first got this truck going, I did put a new caliper on that side. I'm assuming the hose is free. It's not. Well, it could be getting squeezed. But it's getting a new one anyways. And hopefully it can go for another drive sometime without the wheel locking up. Maybe do a better burnout. Who knows. Here's a little tip anytime you're messing with your brakes. You take the bleeder out, you clean it off. Run a drill bit down through the hole and put some anti seize on it. That way, the next time you're messing with your brakes, the bleeder doesn't twist off. Well, I'm working on the driver's side now. Put a new hose on, ran into a new problem. You can see that bevel there. I had to grind that bevel in there. Because it came square on both sides. And without that bevel, the hose wouldn't fit back in there right. Put that ledge back in there. And the caliper, the hose wouldn't fit in there. So I had to grind on it. Joys of working with aftermarket stuff. Nothing usually fits right, you gotta make it fit. We'll get this side done here. We'll get the brakes bled. There, right, driver's side is done. It's all on there. Had to grind on that. 
deal there a lot to get it to fit. It has it on up there now. I mess with the bleeder. I'll dump some brake fluid in it. Got that gravity bleed, and I'll have to find somebody to help me bleed the brakes. All right, brakes are on, the hose are on, we bled the brakes. That'll feel good. Brake a couple times. If I darken here, you can see nothing. Push it down, make sure it ain't sticking, which it shouldn't be sticking. Be able to turn that by hand. Turns. Get it past the side. Turn my hand. Yep. We're good to go. The wheels back on. We'll go for a little drive. After I pick up my tools and junk and whatnot. Alright, we got the brakes done. Now we're going to go for a little test drive. Make sure they don't lock up, but they better not lock up. In other words, you might end up in the ditch again. That wouldn't be good. A little dark in here.
waster spot for the moment. Yeah, fix more brake hoses. Firebird brake hoses are collapsed also, so that'll be next. At least I can drive this thing again. Move it and get it out of the way. The wheels ain't stuck and throwing me in the ditch.